President Trump has affirmed intends to authorize weed across the country and end the government prohibition on pot, amid his trek to the G7 summit in Canada. Trump made his declaration before a horde of journalists on Friday morning, before boarding a helicopter for the summit. Latims.com reports, his comments came the day after the bipartisan gathering of administrators proposed their measure. One of the lead supports is Senator Cory Gardner, Republican Colorado, who is lined up with Trump on a few issues yet as of late has gone head-to-head -head with the organization over the Justice Department's dangers to restart indictments in states that have sanctioned weed. I bolster Senator Gardner, Trump said when asked in regards to the bill. I know precisely what he's doing. We're taking a gander at it. Yet, I most likely will wind up supporting that, yes. The authoritative proposition, which is likewise championed by Senator Elizabeth Warren, D. Mass, would reshape the lawful scene for pot in the event that it moves toward becoming law. California and eight different states, and Washington, D.C., have sanctioned all grown-up utilization of pot. An extra 20 states allow Mary Jane for restorative utilize. Be that as it may, even as states authorize, pot has remained a hazardous and unsteady business as a result of government law making it unlawful. Worries about government law requirement seizures have hindered most banks from working with weed organizations. What's more, financial specialists have additionally continued carefully. On the off chance that you are in the weed business, you can't get a bank credit or set up a ledger due to worry over the contention amongst state and government law, Gardner said at a news gathering Thursday to reveal the new bill. We have to settle this. It is time we remove this industry from the shadows, bring these dollars out of the shadows. He called it an open false reverence that the organizations are required to pay charges yet are banned from investment in the money-related framework. A lifting of the government preclusion additionally would reinforce endeavors to make uniform testing and administrative norms for weed, and possibly free researchers to seek after research into the therapeutic employments of weed. Trump's help could conceivably have a noteworthy effect, giving political cover to Republicans who stress over being labeled as delicate on drugs. In any case, the proposition faces an intense street in Congress. Despite the fact that most officials currently speak to regions where pot is lawful for in any event therapeutic utilize, and general supposition surveys demonstrate larger parts of Democratic and Republican voters across the country support sanctioning, congressional pioneers have indicated little craving for extricating limitations. The House is hindering the District of Columbia from allowing offers of recreational pot, even after its voters sanctioned. A 2014 spending revision that shields therapeutic weed organizations from Drug Enforcement Administration strikes is unendingly under assault. It faces gigantic headwinds, John Hudick, a Mary Jane approach master at the Brookings Institution in Washington, stated, alluding to the Gardner war in charge. Trump said he is probably going to help the government sanctioning exertion in spite of a notice against it from a coalition of opiates officer gatherings. We ask you to see through the smoke screen and reject endeavors to empower more medication use in America, they wrote in a letter to Trump Thursday. The Mary Jane business keeps on being whipsawed by blended messages from the organization. In January, the Justice Department sent pot organizations into a frenzy by revoking an Obama time strategy that confined prosecutors from focusing on dealers who work lawfully under state laws. Sessions cautioned at the time that any pot business could end up in the line of sight of prosecutors, paying little mind to whether pot was legitimate in their state. The move infuriated Gardner, who said the organization had before given him affirmations that there would be no such assaults, at any rate in his state. At Gardner's command, Trump in April requested a sudden withdrawal from the declared crackdown. Trump made the request without counseling Sessions an indication of their strained relationship. Be that as it may, prosecutors backed off. Amid this organization, there have clearly been no government attacks or seizures of pot organizations for deals that are legitimate under state law. Amazingly little, on the off chance that anything, has changed, said John Vardaman, a previous Justice Department lawyer who helped draft the Obama time rules, known as the Cole Update after previous Deputy Attorney General James M. Cole, who
who issued it. Relatively every U.S. lawyer in states where cannabis is legitimate has chosen to apply an indistinguishable standard from the coal reminder, said Vardaman, now an official ad hyper, which pitches managing an account consistence programming to pot organizations. Keeping money is the zone in which the Gardner bill could most help pot organizations. The Senate proposition, and a sidekick bipartisan measure in the House, would revise the Controlled Substances Act so its cannabis arrangements don't have any significant bearing to any individual or business that is in consistence with state laws. To comfort brokers, it indicates that such pot deals would not be thought about trafficking and don't add up to illicit money-related exchanges. The simple individuals you need associated with this market are the ones who have been most hesitant to get included on account of the managing an account issue, said Vardaman. On the off chance that you address that, you would have gigantic useful impacts for the business. While Trump's remarks were invited by Mary Jane activists, they stay tense, particularly in view of Trump's spotty record at really pushing enactment through Congress. We have seen this president voice his help for a considerable measure of things identified with cannabis, however he has done literally nothing to move enactment," said Hudnik. This is simply more unfilled talk from a president who is ambiguous on this issue. Gardner is trusting he can induce a greater amount of his moderate partners to join the campaign by confining the issue as one of states' rights. A few Republicans, including Reps. Dana Rahrabacher of Costa Mesa and Don Young of Alaska, are requesting a conclusion to government cannabis laws that interrupt the states. Their development is gradually developing in Congress. This is a shot for us to express that federalism works, said Gardner, who like some different Republicans was not an advocate of Mary Jane but rather took up the reason after his state's voters embraced sanctioning to take a thought that states have driven with and give an answer that enables them to keep on leading.